You're listening to The Interview Show with Seth Goldstein on the phillytech.org netcast network. Thank you to our sponsors, aweber.com, wistia.com, and getflywheel.com. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the interview show. I'm here with Joe, with Joe from Content Launch and Icebox. How's it going, Joe? Great, Seth. How are you? Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, before we get started, I do want to mention that we have a Patreon campaign, um, Patreon.com/phillytech.org, and also we also have an Indiegogo campaign. You wish you can see the links up above here. Um, so if you want to support the network, you know, help us, you know, grow out the network and get some more infrastructure. Well, in to be awesome. So, so Joe, how did you get started? Like, who are you, and how did you get started? Great question. So, you know, I started off my career pretty early in traditional media, working for USA Networks, and then from there shifted over to DoubleClick on the internet advertising side um, in kind of mid to late '90s, and that was really my first introduction to technology and, and advertising technology industry, and then from there. You know, after the, the dot bust that occurred, you know, I moved out to California, I kind of decided, you know what, I don't really like working for somebody else. Um, I think I can do the exact same thing, just needed to learn a little bit about the, admin the administrative and banking and, and process, but then from there, started my own um, ad network uh, called the Travel Ad Network, um, and then sold that pretty early on, probably a little bit too early on, and connected with a guy... Um, who's based over in Asia, and we built a company um, called Logo Design Guru, and then we had some other brands called Microburst and Logo Snap, essentially serving the small business sector, all e-commerce based, and learned a lot about search engine optimization and marketing and doing things that I'd never imagined I'd do, and uh, sold my shares in that company a couple years ago, and, and did a little stint there over in Iraq with the Army. I was in the reserves previously before. Um, so now I'm on uh, advising different startups, um, one of them being Icebox, the other one Content Launch, and helping them uh, with business development, marketing, um, operations consulting, um, and just trying to take the wealth of experience I learned over the past, you know, 10 to 15 years in, in helping other startups to grow their company. So Icebox is I-S-E-B-O-X, right? That is correct, yes. And so what is Icebox? Is it, is, it a freezer, is it a freezer company? or <laughs> Not a freezer company. Um, we call it a multimedia content distribution platform. And essentially, what I like to describe it is a Dropbox on steroids. Oh, wow. It's a quick way to spin up a microsite, um, kind of drag and drop the technology, name your um, extension, except all the content you add to it, all the videos and photos and documents, um, all can be downloaded in various formats. So um, it is used primarily for press releases and multimedia. So if you're trying to get a bunch of videos and photos out to the press and you want to, to be able to have people for people to be able to share your content um, socially and track who's actually downloading your content and where it's going, Icebox is a great solution. Um, on the flip side, some other areas are with um, conferences. Hey, you got mm -hmm. a thousand people sitting in front of you. You're investing in video and have photos and presentations. How can you get all that content after the show out to the attendees? Icebox, again, is a great solution for that. Awesome. Yeah. So how did you get involved with these guys? Met him at a networking event. Uh, met the CTO, and he said, hey, we have this great product, and it's fully baked. We were pr predominantly based over in Europe at the time, and they wanted to um, get over to the U.S. and gain some traction and adoption. So I love the fact they'd already worked with Procter & Gamble and Adidas and some large enterprises. Oh, wow. But um, still – Hadn't really worked out the marketing message and the pricing and wanted to gain some traction there, so that's where I've been helping. Awesome. So you kind of helping them on the on the on the America side. Yep, over here in the state side, correct. Awesome, awesome. And then what is content launch? So good question. Content launch, still in the content marketing space, but they've been providing content writing services for more than a decade. Oh, so they've been around for a while. Uh, they have been around for a while. Um, have a network of more than 300 writers, 
Um, it can write in any specific vertical. They're trained in search engine optimization, do a great job in supporting you know, a lot of agencies that are getting heavily, more heavily involved in inbound marketing or content marketing. But what our CEO, John Wibben, recognized uh, about a year, a year and a half ago is to manage this process of writing content. When you go beyond, hey, I got one person on my team who's writing for our blogs and emails and white papers, and you start to have three, four, five different individuals contribute, that process can get pretty hairy pretty quickly. And the solutions like Basecamp are, aren't really geared for content writing. Um, you don't have um, you know, certain reminders about putting in uh, keywords, and um, you can't push the content out to your specific channels of, of social channels or WordPress, and then actually provide analytics. So uh, we wanted to build something that was geared towards the small to medium business sector for um, smaller agencies um, in order to make that process a whole lot more manageable and efficient. Okay, I see it ranges um, from $300 a month up to $700 a month. Right. And yeah. so what do, what do they get for... Um, what do they get for each tier? Like, you know, like, like what do they get? Like, I'm looking at it right now, and it has, you know, create a module, calendar. Does this integrate with your website, or? Yep. So there are content connections you can create. So you can push the content out to, you know, if you've got a WordPress blog. And we also have APIs for HubSpot and ActOn and are adding more for other marketing automation systems. Um, to oh, wow. push the content out, And then we will retrieve the information back along with your social channels about how is it performing to be able to index and score different content types based on author, um, based on content types and timing or campaign. Um, so as, as far as like what's included in different packages, a lot of it has to do with users, how many users you want to add on there and make available. But we do have other uh, tools built in. Um, you know, we've got one solution and a partnership with a company called Tracker where mm -hmm. it basically acts like Google. You know, go and type in a specific vertical, hey, I'm writing about um, – you know, auto, and then it'll pull up all the different individuals um, who are influencers in your sector who you can either invite to blog for you, or once you've written some content, maybe able to share it on their social network. Um, and so that may be uh, included on one of the larger, like heavier packages versus the lower end package. Okay, so so and now these are professional writers writing for you, right? Well, I mean, there are two different sectors. And so one, we have the software, which we do have some companies who just use it and they don't need our writing services, and the other is our writing team. Sometimes people need both. Sometimes people need one or another. Oh, so there's software that helps you, the user, write better. Correct. And, and manage oh, your okay. more efficiently. Oh, so I, I get, I get, so that's where the users come in. So you can have five users come in and use the tool at once. I gotcha. That makes sense. Yep. And you, and a lot of companies already have their own writers. They may not need us for that or they want us to, to provide writing services too. Yep. Wow. That's really cool. And so are there any other projects you're busy with, or these are two big babies right now? They keep me busy enough as it is, and, and um, you know, we're having a lot of fun with these. I, I was at in uh, kind of conference chaos uh, in, in September and October um, for, for both, uh, both companies, and, you know, just excited to be a part of them and, and uh, get our name out there and, and get, continue to gain some traction. Awesome, awesome. Let's, let's thank our sponsors real fast. Um, so... Philly, Philly Tech couldn't do this without our wonderful sponsors, um, aweber.com, their email service provider. Um, we have Flywheel at getflywheel.com. They're our amazing web hosts. And, I mean, seriously, from from the from day one, we were on another host, and we put them on Flywheel, and it just literally flew. No pun, pun completely intended. Um, we also have Wistia, which is going to host the videos. So they, are a, they host the videos, and... Make it so that there's actually a business automation behind it, which is really nice. And finally, Apps Console, they are a startup law firm based in Philadelphia. They do other law as well, but they're here to help businesses grow and startups, you know, succeed. So thank you to our sponsors, and back to Joe. So Joe, so, so you said, you, so in the past, you said you did a lot of other stuff. You, you um, worked on, you had your own thing, you worked at DoubleClick. Was that before DoubleClick was owned by Google? It was, correct. So back when they were their own business, okay. Yep. And now, but to go back to Icebox, what kind of companies use Icebox? Like, I mean, I know you say conferences can use it and big companies, but like, what's a good example of a company that can use Icebox? Um, well, we probably one of our biggest challenges is that it's used in so many different ways. Mm -hmm. so we work with larger enterprises and large PR firms who need to push content out to the media and press. 
So imagine uh, Walgreens used our platform because they had a um, news story that they wanted to push out um, and it included some video content and photo content and they want to make it available and easy for the press to go grab and download in whatever format they need to be able That's to grab cool. the list. Hey, who downloaded this content? Did somebody grab that embed video code? Where is it located and how many views does it have? So it really is, it almost goes head to head with PR Newswire and their multi-view solution to a large degree, except ours is I would like to consider it kind of a 2.0 version of that, much more affordable, a um, lot more agile um, than, than uh, PR Newswire solution. So um, okay. um, additionally, we work with, uh, there's some startups who use our platform. They just find that Icebox, again, gives them some of the flexibility and other tools in order to push out their, um, their press releases rather than going some of the traditional routes. Um, so we work with companies of all different sizes. And even from to a large perspective, companies will use it for as a light digital asset management solution. Where can I store all my videos and photos on the cloud? Uh, Visit Philly is a client of ours. Um, oh wow, that's a good that's a good one. We need a place to put all their their video content before it was on Google Docs. Um, all you know, terabytes worth of video storage, but they lacked control. It lacked the ability to search and index and track who's downloading content. Now that's all available um, on the Icebox platform that people can download that content in any format. And can, and can I see you also have a mobile app as well, or is it mobile optimized? It's mobile, it's mobile responsive. It's already included. You create an, a page on Icebox, and it'll create a mobile responsive version. Oh, that's it. neat, because that's what you got to do nowadays, because most people are on mobile devices, whether it be a tablet or a phone. Um, I remember when we, when we first met, or we first re-met after a while, you were talking about how a um, airline, it was an airline that was using it, uh, Emirates. Yep. And yep. I, I, thought that, I thought that was really neat how they were using it to show their new airline and, yep. and a new airliner. And what I really liked about it was that, I mean, being a former journalist, I liked the idea of being able to just grab the content you need and run. You know, and then, then you guys can then follow off and say, you know, I see you downloaded this, you want to quote, you know, so it actually is an interactive, would you classify it as an interactive um, public relations tool, I guess? You know, absolutely. So, I mean, you hit on something, Seth, that's really important, which is, one, and, and we're going to be releasing a study soon uh, after we polled 20,000 journalists, and, you know, 90% of them say including multimedia content, photo, infographic, or um, video is absolutely critical to have. And they probably include it in about 80% of their, their articles and posts that they write. So knowing that journalists want that content, how can we make their life easier by making this content available in the format they need? You may have a print guy that needs a print-ready version of that image, not a JPEG, and vice versa. You may have an online guy who needs an online um, uh, low-resolution res version of that image, but also can grab an embed video code to integrate that as well. So when we can make the lives of journalists easier, where they can go to a single page, learn everything they need to about that company, access all the content they can, all the multimedia content in the format they need when they need it. They don't have to go back and forth or search around and go to Google and type in certain keywords to try to grab what they want. Essentially what we're doing is increasing the likelihood of adoption and then writing a story about our company. That's really cool. Icebox has an email push system, so you can upload a list of your journalist contacts, we have journalist contacts as well, and send it out to them, and they're going to get an HTML5 version email in their box that has embedded images and video. But oh, it's wow. Like we're hosting. So, oh, that's really cool. Yeah. So this, so, is, this, is really, this is really Dropbox and the steroids. This is, actually, this isn't even Dropbox. This is, this is like Dropbox mixed with PR Newswire then on steroids. Right, exactly. I, I actually had, had a graphic creator which kind of like YouTube and PR Newswire and Dropbox and you know Constant Contact all kind of built into one simple to use platform. But I think that's that's what I think one of the things I love most about about Icebox is it's so easy to use. I can show somebody how to use it in 30 minutes. You don't have to be technically savvy. Um, it, it's pretty straightforward. It looks really simple and, and easy, easy to use. So, well, Joe, this has been awesome. Thank you for coming on. My um, pleasure. And where can they find you online? Let's say they want to reach out to you. Let's say the next big startup wants Joe on their team. Sure, uh, I'm on LinkedIn. Type in Joe Witte. I'm probably the first person to come in there. W I T T E. Um, and you could always email me Joe dot Witte at Outlook dot com. Outlook dot com. I always see ventured into the Microsoft 
ecosystem there. Yeah, it, it works. It's all good. It's all good. Awesome, Joe. Well, thank you for being on. And um, and then once again, check out Icebox at I S E B O X. O X. If you go to the other one, you can see, see a cat, a cat podcast. Cat podcast. <laughs> yeah, it's not I C E B O X. It is I S E um, B O X dot com. Mm -hmm. And you can also check and out. You can also check out Content out Launch where. Content Launch where. At contentlaunch.com. Awesome. Well, thank you, Joe. Awesome. Well, thank you, Joe. You got it, Seth. Have a good one. Right, take care. Cheers. Take care.